As Christian faithful around the world look forward to the Christmas celebration, Nigerians across states raise alarm over the high cost of foodstuff and other items for celebrations. A correspondent across some states report that fares have also skyrocketed as the volume of travelers has drastically reduced. The report. The period before Christmas comes with a lot of shopping and traveling. But for Kano residents, the prices of commodities have soared beyond the reach of many, especially the very less privileged. In this market, traders complain of low sales and less profits, which makes it difficult for them to make their expected returns. No much profit because things is very high. It's on a higher side, so people will be complaining for you to put uh, the price in a, a higher side. People are complaining. Last year, that things is very low. We make more gain more than this year. With food prices rising at a geometric progression, many residents have to pay more for less or make do with very little. Yesterday, I bought a, a, a basket of a, a tomato. It's so high, more than 20,000. And you know, in Africa, we take care of not only the nuclear family, as well as the extended family. So it's really a burden for especially civil servants to be able to meet up with those needs. And um, the high price of food this year is really, really dry. Fares are on the rise due to the scarcity of petrol, as government power supply is still epileptic. Some travelers making it out of the state say they can only afford road travels irrespective of the insecurity, as air tickets are now at cutthroat prices. Like a day high. So now that will make the problem. The higher the price, the lower the quantity. There is no get money. So when they get the money, people must come and buy. A mass is the person that is come buy like 10 robbers or 20 now, then come buy two gallons, two bottles, or something like that. The situation is not different in Kaduna State, northwest of Nigeria. Nigerians have continued to express dismay over the high cost price of foods and non food items, with traders count low patronage in the markets. Gumi Central Market is one of the busiest markets in the state. People come from far and near to shop, but they say the purchasing power this year is low. Some resort to low-quality clothes and shoes for their children, as they say the cost of chicken and rice have doubled beyond imagination. The of things in the market now has gone relatively high because uh, the rush for Christmas is there and coupled with uh, the fuel scarcity. People that are carrying this from one destination to another, the distance too has made it high. Traders look to be the hardest hit here in Kaduna, like others. The cost of fuel actually affected the transportation because there is increase in the price of the transport. Like there's difference from it, so it actually went up. They are still patronizing because you just have to travel and Oh, that's what we have no choice. It's not funny, you know, sweet. I have to trek halfway so that if you pay with it, I pay, go reach where they go. 100 naira, 200. With I beg, 150, 170. We don't even know what they happen. What are new currency have been our old currency, we don't know what they happen. May they wake up, may they make things they come on for the common man. The common man are suffering. They are there in Asura, they don't know what is happening. At the motor park, very few passengers are seen. They lament the high fares just as the motorists frown at the low patronage. <laughs> this is Jumeta Metropolitan, where some essential food items have become difficult to purchase for people with a low. As you see, these that are they are coming, they are bringing it from from Kano. Some are bringing it from Zaria. So it depends on how we bought the bag. And then depending on how, how much we are paying uh, for the motor, uh, for transportation. For uh, the, uh, the parts of uh, transportation, we are giving it each one motor, uh, 100,000. But now, each one motor, 170,000. 
Papamoto. In prices of food items in Adamawa on the recent flood which wreaked havoc on farm produce. This month man to now is 1,000. All like normal before you can buy like 500, 600. Even the onions, very coarse. Onion. Onions, they're very Small portion of onions, 500, it's not even up to 7, 8. In Lagos, traders of clothes and accessories are of the opinion that the biting economy is responsible for more window shopping as buyers lament of the high cost of commodities needed for Christmas celebrations. Perhaps the decorations in some areas and the sound of Christmas songs gives hope for a better day ahead. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.